Check out this monster. This is a very rare contrabassoon made by Alfred Morton of London, we think somewhere between 1870 and 1890. It's in the Heritage Collection at the University of Adelaide. We think there's only very few of these in the world. I think, we only, I think he only made four or five. This is also known as the Contrabassophon. See, look at this beautiful silver plaque on there. See it and hear it at the Australasian Double Reed Conference in Adelaide, September 13th to the 15th. I'm Richard Craig, and I'm going to attempt to make it play. At the moment, it's not playing very well, so we're going to try and see what we can do to make it play a bit better. Um, so I'm just going to um, take this off and put a new pad in here because the, the leather on this pad is gone. The screws are very stiff because all the oil is um, dried up. Maybe a little bit of rust in there as well. I'm not very happy with the shape of that hole. It looks like it's got a bit of a dip there. So I don't think that that's going to be airtight when I put the pad on it. So I'm going to have to have a, just do a little repair on that. When I just took the top off the hole there, you can see that it's not touching there. So the hole isn't flat, which is going to make it very difficult to get that airtight. So I'll have to take that down a little bit further. Obviously you don't want to take off too much because you know you can't put it back. But any leak right at the very top of the instrument is a bit of a disaster. I think we can make that work. we're going to look at is this crack here. The trouble is that this design, the wood is very thin, so there's no way of putting a pin through there or holding it together or anything like that. So um, what I'm going to do is just, I'm just going to try and fill this crack up with a bit of shellac. I don't want to use something solid like super glue because that's just, um, it's too inflexible. Um, so Let's see if we can make that look a bit better. So what I'm doing here is driving all the, it's just evaporating all the um, methylated spirit out of the shellac. And it'll go quite hard, but it'll remain a little bit flexible. So that if the wood moves again, the idea is that the shellac, the shellac will move with the wood. And the challenge is to clean that up and make it look nice. Gently scraping away the excess and then I'll finish it with paper. So, that's the Contrabassophon. Um, you can see it and hear it at the Australasian Double Reed Conference in Adelaide, September the 13th to the 15th. And um, it's going to be a fantastic conference. There's uh, some terrific players coming from overseas, really world-class top players to hear. Um, and the competition is, that they have every year has got plenty of prize money. You should um, be there.
it's much better. 